All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Uh, you know, we heard the news about uh, Iran launching an attack. Uh, you know, in the beginning, I thought it's this is really serious, and I said to myself, those people they lost their mind. Uh, but look what they did. Out of all the missiles they shot, not even an American chicken was injured. So what those cowards did, they wanted to show their people that they are going to respond. They promised to respond. So how we can respond and yet Trump will not be upset? We are going to send our missiles in an empty land. And this way, you know, Trump will not be upset and he will not hit us back because simply we killed nobody. I mean, have you ever heard of a coward government like this? All this is screaming, Allahu Akbar, we will make the American dead everywhere. And now you are shooting missiles. And you missed? I mean, either their missiles is made from firework made in China, or it is not real missiles. I don't know what kind of missiles. All of them, all of them, they hit nothing. I mean, like not even an American soldier got injured. So, there is one of two choices. Either they do it in the purpose this way. So they will say, okay, we respond. You see, we are strong and we have missiles. Uh, and their people they will be like, Allahu Akbar, Takbir, you know, like the Mullah, he promised and he did it. Uh, and same time, Trump, he will not do anything because, you know, nobody got killed. Actually, they are not even shooting at American base. They are shooting at Iraqi base. Nobody got killed, not even a chicken. Not even one chicken, you know, zero. So this is first. This is not an American base. Why did not Why did they not attack the American base? They are attacking Iraqi base. Al Assad base is not an American base. This is an Iraqi base, and this is telling you clearly that they want to. They don't want to attack the American. They are attacking them. I mean, it is hilarious how funny coward they are. Now listen. I believe still Trump he should use this as an excuse and destroy all their oil <laughs> fanery and all their nuke facilities because they are building those nukes for 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 for, for more than 30 years. He can just take them off in two seconds. So all the billions they spent for those years they will be gone. So I think this is a very good opportunity to USA. To respond in a very smart way you do not need to hit 50 target just hit one two three but they are very priceless and that's it you know yeah it's a it's a it's obviously it's they want to show it's a show off they want to show the people that we are you know we promise you we want to respond and we are brave and our big mullah he have a you know his bupu is big you know he don't have diarrhea but this is diarrhea and but i just heard that the uh, international uh, organization for uh, uh, flights they banned flying zone they made a flying zone banned over iraq iran and the gulf of oman that's mean the american they respond they they taught the uh, the, the flying uh, uh, organization we want you to suspend all the flying mostly this is american decision suspend all the flying <laughs> so the response will come very soon you know uh, Trump is a big terrorist well I love Trump and I will if if a Trump he wants me to go to war right now I will be happy to join if 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 a Trump is a terrorist look look at those the filthy people those those filthy government of Iran they killed it from their own people just more than 1700 just two months ago their own people in the street When the last time Trump he son you know he he shot his own citizen for making fun of him. You go on TV, you make fun of Trump, you make movie about Trump, you you say the F word to Trump, you are free. In Iran, when people go in the street, the Iranian Mullah's government, they slaughter them. There's tens of thousands they are in jail, and you are talking about terrorism. And just wait, we will teach you how to behave those who call themselves Hezbollah. If I am a Trump right now, this is a very golden opportunity for him. I think this opportunity will not be repeated again.
maybe for centuries, right? So uh, 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 he should attack their their uh, uh, you know their nuke facilities. He should attack their refinery of oil. He should attack all sources of of, uh, of energy of this country, and this country is already dead. This country is already dead, you know. But look how fake they are. I told you, those people, they don't dare. They are coward. They don't dare. So they shot, but they shot nothing. It's like uh, it's like in a movie, you know, uh, shooting with an empty uh, bullet. You know, it makes noise. Uh, obviously, this is a noise, uh, uh, you know, uh, missiles. This is not a real missiles. Because there is no way in a base. All those missiles, they came and they killed nobody. You know what I mean? No, you know, until now we heard nothing. But you know, actually, if there is one American get killed, uh, the response will be very aggressive. You know, Trump he made it clear. Like when they attack an American uh, a drone, it was empty. You know, it's a it's electronic machine run by control from far away. So he said, as long there's nobody get killed, no problem. But uh, you know. Well, this is first, this is not a culture center. Those are the head of the mullahs. So this, the funny media, they call them culture center. What culture center? The head of Al-Khomeini is a culture center now? The headquarter of Al-Khomeini is a culture center? <laughs> anyway. Uh... You know those those uh, those this regime, their uh, you know their their existence is based on having an enemy. So this is an opportunity for them. The, the 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 country is collapsing. The GDP is collapsing. There is no income. There is no money. Uh, their oil nobody is buying it. Uh, you know they cannot even. And now you know they are they are digging for their death. Not because of what they did. You see, there is a consequence. Just yesterday, they announced they will not uh, uh, like honor the agreement about a uh, nuclear uh, facility no more. And that means all European Union, they have to put sanctions again as happened before. So they are putting things around their neck. They are putting a big leash and they will be controlled. You know? Uh, they're a drone. They are not really, uh, I don't think they are really that good. You see, all those countries, even if they have technology, it's it's a it's a let us say it's a collection technology. It's not a it's not a technology they understand. They cannot make their own uh, keyboards. So with those uh, airplanes or drones, they are exist already. They just buy the part and they put them together. Uh, what happened to my ninety nine fish? <laughs> well, what happened made me change the topic. What I will talk. You know, if if somebody says he had ninety nine fish, people will believe him or not? They will not, right? Okay, I mean, why? So why, why Muhammad and they believe in Muhammad? I mean, the guy he told them about like, there is a, a prophet. His name is Musa. He went. He found the fountain of life. He have a whale with him. The whale went in the ocean, and the water became like a rock. I mean, all the stories they believe it. If I say ninety nine uh, fish, nobody believe it. <laughs> Actually, this is what happened. I went to I went for fishing uh, yesterday. Guys, not even one fish said hello to me. <laughs> not even one. Not even a bite. Not even like, like hello, you know. They are gone. They are disappear. But it's not only me. You know, the guys who they are there, they said today is not, uh, there is no, there's no fish. So don't waste your time. But I went there anyway. And I decided to stay, you know. It was nice. Uh, Zionist propaganda. My friend, the biggest Zionist in, is, in the world is Allah. In chapter 5, verse 21 in the Quran, it says that Allah, he assigned the land to the Jews. And you are talking about Zionist? Your God, Allah himself, is a Zionist. He's a potato. He never mentioned Palestine. He never mentioned Islam. And he, he mentioned only the Jews. This is the land assigned to you. You don't believe me? I will put, this, I will put the verses for you on the screen. You know? Zionist. 
and yeah, we all all of us we support Israel. I do. Look at Israel, small tiny country started from nothing. Look who they are now, and look at you. You are there exist for centuries. What do you have? You have no electricity. You can't even cover a hole in the front of your house. Your your kid he go outside he feel in the sewage. Why? Because you are stupid. And you are talking about Zionist. You dream to be Zionist. Yeah, I should go fishing Saturday, right? <laughs> Quran learn written by Christian? No, not Christians. By 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 uh, let's say uh, um, you know like maybe. Uh, uh, Waraq Abdu Nofal, he is Nasara, which is like Jehovah's Witnesses, you know. Vatican propaganda. <laughs> you know, those people, they have always to blame somebody. If they cannot, you know, if, if he go to the bedroom and he could not do it with his wife, he will blame the Jews. I'm telling you, this is the mentality of those people. This is why they are behind in everything. The computer they are reading, they are, they are using is not made by them. The software they are using right now, Windows or Mac, is made by the American. The internet itself is made by the American. And yet they, they speak about themselves and they have accomplishment. What, what do you have? What do you, even the internet you are in is owned by Trump. Do you know that? Which means Trump, literally, he can shut down the internet in the world. America own it. You have nothing. You have the mullahs who they are uh, encouraging their followers to marry children who they are like uh, Al-Khomeini, I can show you the book of Al-Khomeini, Tahrir al-Wasila who he said that you can have sexual enjoyment with infant infant Do you believe it? And you are talking about Zionists, are talking about, you know, look at you Do you have a mirror at home? Have you ever bought a mirror? Hmm Hmm You have to be stupid that the Iranian does not support the general that my friend in those countries okay let me show you just to show you how ignorant you are in those countries they force all the employees all the employees is this is not and this is not America all employees they have to go to the funeral otherwise you will be fired and not only that you have to shout they are watching you this is how it is in Iraq before this is how it is in Syria this this is all those regimes in South in North Korea who like you go in North Korea when the president he wants to make a speech millions in the street millions same as Saddam Hussein Saddam Hussein died they went and they broke his statues did you see them beating beating his statues with the shoe flip flip flap shoe not only shoe all right uh, Israel was created on terrorism my friend, you can say whatever about you want to about about Israel, but but Israel is a country and you don't have one. You are just jealous. This is the truth. Look at you. Which country in the Middle East is equal to Israel? Be, you know, be, be building terrorism, terrorism. And look who is talking. I mean, all of you are a bunch of terrorists. Your prophet is a terrorist. Allah is a terrorist. Islam is a terrorist religion. The the God of Islam, He teach you even to beat your wife. This is terrorism inside indoor. Because when you beat your wife, that means you are a terrorist. You use violence to subdue a poor woman. And that means you are a coward. So the mentality of this cult and those who follow this cult, by beating women, they prove that they are cowards. So if you beat your wife, you think you can beat America? Let us see. Let us see. South Korea and uh, North Korea and Iran is the same for sure the same Have you ever been in the Middle East potato? I know what how it is there who there who there to speak about the king or the president he would disappear him and his family who there <laughs> They have a spy in every corner and people they write if somebody if if your wife is angry from you She will write a report and she will send it to the to the uh, what the, the siege the siege uh, uh, guards and they, and they will grab you from the middle of the night and nobody will hear of you again we know it my friend you see just okay can you go back just uh, 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 six weeks ago and see how many tons of hundreds of thousands went in the street against the government where are they those people what happened what what happened 
They killed more than a thousand and five hundred protesters in the street and they arrested tens of thousands. This is the truth. Can you put Allah as a Zionist? Sure, here we go. We can put Allah as a Zionist. But Allah is busy now. He is in the bedroom. Here we go. If we go to chapter 5, verse number 21, it says clearly that Allah has assigned Jerusalem to the Jews. Not only Jerusalem, the whole Holy Land. Here we go. Do you see it? Allah not only a Zionist, he is a puppy for the Zionist. Read it. Allah said that he taught Musa to tell his people the following. Oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned to you. Do you see it? Do you see it? Hmm. Well, when it's come to this is not international relation, my friend. This is Islam. You know, you you guys, you have, you have a very limited mentality. Everything in those countries is based on Islam. So you are a fool when you speak international relationship. There is no international. You see, what is the relationship between Lebanon and Iran? Islam, Hezbollah, Shia. What is the relationship between Iraq and Iran? Islam. They are not blood. They are not actually. They are enemies. They are Arab and Persians. Arab and Persian, they are always enemies for, for centuries. Just because they are Shia now, they became brothers and sisters and they want to fight together. So you, you are ignorant. You think this is about relationship. This is about religion. And your stupidity making you see it as a political agenda. They don't have an agenda of politics. They have an agenda of religion. They want to conquer to spread Shiaism and make an empire of the Shia. That's all. And the fool you, he think this is about uh, relationship international. What international? They are taking over Lebanon, over Syria, over Yemen, over Kenya. They are expanding their fingers everywhere by what? By what? By religion, not by signing agreement. Or let us say, uh, 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 we have a business. No, it's religion, pure religion only. All everything those people they do is based on religion. And the fool you who don't live there. Don't know how they think. You think they are people like you, think like you. They eat McDonald's and they eat French fries. <laughs> uh, you know, Putin, you know, Putin is a very smart person. And, uh, you know, Putin will be happy actually to see American hit Iran because that will make the stupid Iranians spend all the money left in their pocket in the pocket of Putin. That's all. But Putin will never support him in any way, any means. We know that. No, nobody will risk to go against uh, USA. So actually, I encourage I encourage Putin to sell to sell as much as he can to Iran right now from weapon, because they are useless anyway. You know. Uh, you see the the uh, the the smart thing is is to know your limit. And those people they knew their limit. This is why they hit all these missiles. They did not even kill an American chicken. And this is what make I think uh, Trump did not go in a speech because you, what, what we will do now? Okay, they hit, but they hit nothing. What we will do? <laughs> I mean, look at this hit, and now they will say, "Allahu Akbar, we hit America. You hit nothing." First of all, this is an Iraqi base. The American base, not even a bullet they shot at it. There is an there is an American base is not even one hundred kilometer away from the Iranian borders. They did not shoot at it. It's obvious they don't want to hit the American. They are hitting Iraqi base, and there is, uh, uh, as I heard, the the one that get killed is Iraqi Iraqi soldiers. Zero zero casualty between the American. So all this attack, it's a it's a shish kebab hummus. You know, it's a fake attack just to make themselves in the front of the people. We are heroes. If CP was true Christian, he would support Syrian government that protecting them from being killed. My friend, the Syrian government is not protecting the Christians from being killed. The, the Syrian government is killing the Christian. I will explain to you. The one who protect the Christians in Syria is the Russian and protect the Assad too. The Assad cannot even protect himself. He's a potato. If not Russia, all those Alawi in Syria, they will be shish kebab. 
But if you go back, you will see that all the Christian area in Syria during the whole war never been attacked by anyone. There's only one attack happened in the in the, in the, the town of Malula, and this is that's it. The rest they are protected from the Russian. Nobody there. So it, he was using you as uh, you know. Look what happened when the war started in Syria. He hired a Christian def as a defend um, uh, uh, defense minister. Never have. Christian defense minister before. Why now? Because he want to make the Sunni believe the Christians are killing the Sunni. So he is not. See how evil he is? He used the Christians so he can involve them in the war. And the Christians at the end of the day, they, are, they have no choice except to join with him because either the Qaeda and ISIS or the Faithi Assad. So for sure the Faithi Assad is better than the Faithi Al-Qaeda and ISIS. So this is why they took a side with him, because they have no choice. However, he is a filthy man. He's a garbage man. He's a criminal. You know, this guy, if you speak one word against him, you disappear, you and your family. How dare you even to support him? But I'm glad that the Russian involved in this war, not to protect him, but to protect the one deserved protection. Yeah, Putin is the boss. Look what happened. Putin just today was in Syria. Do you know what happened? He asked the Assad to come to his base. You believe it? The president of the country, he had to come like a puppy to his office. Putin did not even go to the airport like every, like every president. The Assad had to come to him like a dog. And you are telling me, I mean, look at this. This guy, he don't, he, he have no control of the country no more. The Iranian take part. The Turkish took part. And the big part is controlled by the by the Russian, right? Anyway, the Assad the Assad regime, my friend, is a big big fat criminal, and those Iranian they are they are the same. Uh, about Putin positions in the case, I uh, lost my internet. You know, Putin is a very smart president. I respect him. This is a real man. So this guy, he know how to play the game. He's a winner always. He never lose. The Turkish are his, they are his puppies. The Syrian are his puppies. The Iraqi is his puppy. Even the Saudi now became his puppies. So this guy is successful everywhere. And now he is, his country is a flourishing. Money is coming from everywhere. Because the weapon, the Russian, they have, nobody have. They are the only one can shoot small drone. You know, the one like the, the Hezbollah is using, the only one can take it down is the Russian. Nobody have weapon like the Russian. And, uh, you know, what the Russian they are doing, they are saying weapon which nobody have, but yet is not effective for them, which means it's useless. You know, I mean, you cannot use it against Russia because the weapon they have is way higher in, in advance. So Putin is very smart. He knew how to invest. And American were stupid in the past. They did not make good relationship with the Russian because of the Democrat. Otherwise, Trump, he wanted to do that. And I hope soon he will fix that. And if if Russia and USA became a friends, Iran is gone. You know, Iran is already gone. Just wait. Just wait. <clears throat> uh, you see, the, the Iranian government, by by doing this attack, they were trying actually to save themselves because if they did not do something the the people in iran don't respect them no more that's mean they are weak but now after people hear the news that this attack was fake they were disrespect them more because what kind of an attack this attack i mean not even one missile shoot the target so what are you shooting at all those missiles you shot not even one hit an american like a shoes <laughs> so what let them shoot at uh, dubai and shoot at israel israel will wipe them out <laughs> my friend this is all is farting because who dare this is all is farting those people are coward and the proof is what happened today they shot muscles they record them in videos that should show the people we did something but the fact they did nothing I mean, what kind of what kind of missiles? They are made from what? From balloon? 
Imagine you are shooting at a, a base, and this base have Iraqi. This is Iraqi base, by the way, not American base. And why did why you did not attack the Ira the American base? There's a base have nothing but Air American only. They did not shoot one missile at the American base. So what they did, they shoot Iraqi base, and zero American get killed. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'm laughing at this government. I'm laughing at those mullahs screaming death to America. And when time to come, they play with their tail. If they want really to kill American, it's not going to be hard. It's not a big deal. I mean, I mean, they can, can they can do it because American base full of soldiers. They can shoot the missiles. The missiles fell down. Bing, bing, bingo, right, right. But they did it in purpose. They don't want to kill not even anything. It's just a show off in the front of those poor Iranian that you see we are responding but now by the morning everybody will be laughing where is the response what kind of muscles you have you see i don't think they shoot muscles i think they shot they shot uh, shawarma this is shawarma you know i will not be uh, surprised if we open those missiles and we find hummus because there is no way all the those shots not even one american soldier was shot no, 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 Putin. But Putin is a smart man. Putin is a genius. Putin is genius. Nobody will defend Iran. Nobody, nobody, not nobody, no, nobody in the world will defend such a filthy country. That's number one. Secondly, uh, uh, you know, Russia at the end of the day, they knew their limit. You know, America. This is America, my friend. This is not uh, Saddam Hussein, and you know, this is America. Actually, if Trump he want, he can finish all of Iran before before he drink his coffee. We know that. He can just nuke. That's it. I mean, what? I mean, are you laughing at yourself? Can you really, do you really, you think they can fight America? He can just finish the country before even finishing his coffee. This is the truth. But because a Trump is 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 not a bad man, he don't want to kill millions. Otherwise, he can finish the whole country. I mean, we cannot even talk about war. War, but war have to be between equal countries. They are equal in what? There's, they have nothing, right? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, they are using PB gun. My guns is more useful than their guns. No, you see, those this this attack, as I said, it's a fake attack. It's not real. You know, we will wait until tomorrow and see. Then uh, until now, they are saying there's zero casualty from the American. If this is true, it's obviously that they don't want to kill anyone. Because if they want to kill, they can. You know, I mean, oh, they shot many, uh, uh, not like those are not rocket, those are missiles. So there is no way, I mean, if a missile fell down in the ground, it's going to hit at least what, like, I mean, uh, you know, will, buy, will wipe the ground maybe, in, at least, at least, even if it's weak for 500 meter, you know. So all those missiles in a small base, they get all nothing. Right, so obviously, uh, this is was not an attack. This is, was just a show off. They are coward. Right. Uh, <clears throat> and you know, uh, we we have a lot of help from inside Iran. So if if a Trump now he want to do something good, I think he should not hit too many targets. Just a few. Maybe four or five. Their their nuclear facilities, which they spend their blood on it, and they are trying to build it for 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 almost forty years, make it dust. That alone is enough, and then they can go to their oil oil refinery because anyway they are useless. You know they cannot sell, and by doing that they have to rebuild. It's going to take them twenty years to build it. That's it. Actually, I just uh, saw uh, Senator uh, uh, saying uh, that if you are a civilian, stay away from the oil refinery in, in Iran, you know. And I saw in the news, too, that the international, uh, what, what, the, like uh, the one in control of a flight, they suspended the flights from uh, the Gulf of Oman, Iraq, and Iran. 
And I believe this is an order coming from Trump, which means Trump is going to really do, a, even though there is nobody got killed, still this is a golden opportunity for him to do his job. And no, Putin is not a nationalist. No, Putin is not. Putin is a Christian man. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Israel is the greatest area. Why they steal a secret from USA? Why not? You see, if if you uh, this is this is countries. This is not a friend to friends. You know, you, you people they have a small brain. Those are two countries. They are not one country. So Israel, they need to keep themselves in the top of technology. And how they can get it? This is not a problem. The problem is to stay strong because those people are surrounded by enemy. So, and USA, by the way, is spy at Israel too. Do you know that? And USA is spy at everybody. So, look, you are naive. You do not know what I was talking about. Everybody spy at everybody. Everybody. You guys, you think in the minority of a friend, like, you know, I am a friend and you're my friend. You spy at me. Shame on you. You know, stupid. Those are countries. USA spy at everybody. The friends and the enemy. Everybody. We have phone calls of every citizen in this earth is recorded. Do you know that? Not only like USA, Europe, Turkey, uh, Syria, Iran. No. Any phone call is made in the world is transformed to USA. And it is recorded. All right, and then they have a software to filter it, and if the software brings something have like something important, then they will examine the phone call. So the USA spy at everybody, including the Jews and the the Christians, the Muslims, the Buddhas, everybody. All right. Trump religion is not a Christian. So what is his religion? Tamara, he's a Buddha. Tamara, she knew Trump, by the way. She used to have a breakfast with him and she knew his religion. <laughs> I mean, when you see people making comments, you die laughing. Uh, by the way, uh, Trump, he used to work as a driver for, for Tamara. Actually, he used to do haircut for her. <laughs> Trump is not a Christian. <laughs> All right. <coughs> oh, boy. Actually, you know, last time, yesterday, I went, me and Trump, uh, to do fishing. And, you know, Trump, he was a cheating. Okay? He, he was a cheating. You know, I was uh, throwing a hoax, you know, in the in the water to get my fish. Uh, Trump, he was making a speech and the fish come to him. I mean, he don't even use the hoax. And, and you know, and he even he mentioned that Tamara is helping him. <clears throat> Is a DIR, yeah, yeah, Tamara. You see, the conspiracy is very stupid, and people believe in it. There is somebody who was saying Christian Prince is not uh, Christian, <laughs> and some people believe it. So, if you spread a lie about somebody because they hate him, there is many naive they will take it. You know, uh, we don't we don't follow what people say. We know people from their fruits. This person, since he came, he hired none but the Christian judges. The Supreme Court, Christian judges. Federal Court, Christian judge, judges. So this guy is transforming America into Christian judges. And yet you say he's not a Christian. So how Iran, how if Iran attack Israel? They were not there, my friend. They knew they cannot do that. I'm telling you, those people are cowards. They are potatoes. You see, they scream death to America, death to Israel every day. But when the last time they attack Israel or attack America? They never. And now they did not. This is a fake attack. Because until now they are saying there is zero casualty between the American. Somebody said in the text, he said, oh, there is casualty. This is why they are not showing videos. Nobody will show videos, my friend, during wartime. Are you stupid? They will show you their base so they can fix the target. 
<laughs> imagine people are shooting at me and I will open the camera for you so you can see where I'm located behind the window or, in the, or <laughs> I mean some people they are they, they have a brain of a mosquito <coughs> right Uh, I don't know actually I think mosquito is a smarter she knew how to find the blood those people they have no idea where to find water what where to find even their gender what is their gender they do not know yeah. so anyway I believe strongly that this is not really a real attack this is a fake stupid thing just to fool the people to say Allahu Akbar we you know Iran you know we are proud of you you know after all those missiles and the funny they recorded in video and then zero American get killed and they are not attacking American base they are attacking Iraqi base why don't attack the American base if you want to attack the American I mean it's an Iraqi base who's going to be there Iraqi what religion is Sufi uh, Sufi movement is started by a prostitute uh, uh, a woman she is a prostitute Sufi is not really it's not an Islamic religion it's a you know you know, Islam have many babies, and Sufi is one of those babies, which is far away from Islam. You know, the only true Islam is those who they call them ISIS. This is the true Islam. The rest is babies of Islam. Like let's say, the 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 the, the fraud gave of gave babies of more fraud. <clears throat> Uh, as an American, I have nothing. Hmm. Okay. What do you mean? I have nothing for Trump or American system. Hmm. Here we go. Go Trump. He is doing damn and good job. <laughs> okay, says GD. Yeah, actually, you know what? They hate this guy. I don't know why. But for me, I, I, I find him hilarious first. Uh, first, he's very honest compared to the rest. You know, this guy, he's saying things as it is. You know, he don't, he don't, uh, he don't put makeup. All the president we have before, they have a written speech. They tell them what to say. You see, Obama, he never make a speech. It's written. Somebody write it for him. Same as George Bush. This guy, nobody write his speech. He go in the stage, he talk. You like it, like it. You don't like it, hit the wall. <laughs> and that's why I like him actually, because you know, you know exactly what what he want to do. You know, uh, <clears throat> he is a conspiracy theorist. CP, don't pay the guy no mind. I'm not sure what the what are you saying. No, you know, yeah, okay. Maybe you are talking about the guy who was making comment. <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, I think this is a great opportunity for Trump because now if he hit the, the nuclear facility of Iran, not only he will just, he will burn, he will burn literally hundreds of billions of dollars they spend and they will, will take them back to zero. And this, they, like, this is, they are proud about, and they are not the one who built it, it's the Russian. It's the Russian who built it for them. So it's going to be great for the Russian to destroy it because now they will, Iranian will ask the Russian to rebuild it again and that will take them another 40 years and then by 40 years from now they will be collapsing they will be gone right uh, so I think it's a golden opportunity for Trump why Iran isn't brave enough to attack Israel you know Israel is a small country no Israel is not a small country you see it's not about size when you say small you talk about what small as a size or population uh, those things they don't really count much. Uh, Israel is very powerful. Can 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 whip Iran? They don't, you know, literally, literally. You know, there is not. They are not a match. You see, no. Who can fight Israel? Nobody. Not even China. Yes, Israel is a small country. In the year 1972, Israel have more than 100 nuke at that time. And now they have way more powerful weapon, the hydrogen and the nitrogen, and you know nobody knows how what how much they have, and uh, the Israeli technology is beyond imagination. 
You see, the defense Star Wars system, American, they you know they did, etc. The the technology is, is from Israel. Every computer you have, you are using right now, there's a technology owned by Israel. Nobody is allowed to to make it except them. So, the Israeli are not small. You know, they are they, they are very smart people. They are smart people. You can nobody can deny that. And they have the technology, they have the power, and they have the weapon. And so, if if uh, uh, if they attack Israel, that will be a big mistake for uh, for Iran. That's a golden opportunity for for Israel, you know. Because then Israel and USA they will join together, and, uh, and I mean, uh, each one of them is alone is enough to d destroy all of Iran. But I don't want really Trump to destroy all of Iran. I want him just to destroy any kind of uh, uh, power they have. World War Three? Why World War Three? I mean, people they talk about World War Three. Why? Who, who, who? We are fighting with who? Are we fighting with the China or Russia? I mean, this is Iran, man. Until now, most of the country don't have even faucet in the kitchen. What are you talking about? What World War Three? What? What is what people are talking about? It's a bunch of people shout Allahu Akbar and they have empty missiles. Their missiles is shawarma. They are shooting shawarma at us. What World War III? Uh, Donald Trump is a mad dog. Soon his own people will get rid of him. Americans are releasing that Trump is a dangerous. Yeah, yeah. My friend, we vote for Trump and we love him and I will vote more and I guarantee you. Especially if he hit really hard tomorrow, the, the American, they will love him more. Just wait. You can say whatever you want. Trump is a man. You know, this guy, this, you know, this guy, he don't, he don't play games. He do what he say. He never said something. He, he, he did not do it. Anything, anything. Even if it's stupid, he do it. You know, and that's why I respect him. So you want to say he's a madman? Well, mad, why you play with madman? The one who play with madman must be a, must be stupid because if you know he's madman, and then you want to fight a madman, and the madman have weapon you don't have, he can make you shish kebab hummus, right? He's a madman. You just said he's a madman. Okay, let's say I will go with you. He's a madman, and then you want to fight a madman, and he have weapon which nobody have in the world. So you you must officially be stupid. Literally. Right. Literally, you have to be stupid. You have to be a donkey, actually, not only stupid. I mean, the word stupid is not good. You have to be a donkey with certified license that you have a PhD in donkeyism. Donkeyism? I never heard this before. <laughs> uh, you know, I, 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 I did join the USA Army, and I know exactly what we have. I mean, those guys, they are no match even to fight a mosquito. You know, we have weapon you can't even dream of. They don't even need to fight you by by soldiers no more. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Uh, in in a vad in a vandi, Shan. Thank you, my friend from Indonesia. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I think because many uh, theorists uh, said World War Three with the star of Iran. No, my friend. You see, Iran has no friends. Iran has no friends. And this is the good thing. The only friend Iran has is their, their puppy. I mean, the Shia, uh, Hezbollah in Lebanon, and those are not friends. So Russia is not a friend. This is like a friend with benefit. You know, I mean, like, you need me. Okay, that's all. They give me your money. Otherwise, the Russian they don't really care for Iran. Actually, the Russian they wanted Iran to be weakened now, so they will get out of Syria as soon as possible, so they will have the whole Syria alone. Putin right now he he wish that Trump he would hit hard. Two reason will happen: Iranian they have to buy their weapon from the Russian, and I don't mind really because it's useless. Secondly. Uh, by being weak and they need uh, you know and the american they will clean them out from syria 
They will destroy all every Iranian soldier in Syria. All of this is for the benefit of Putin. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So this is 100% for the benefit of Russia. They don't have a friend. They don't have China is not their friend. They don't have a friend. China is a country. All their income is based on USA, which means they will never risk relationship with USA. You see, this week they are coming to sign an agreement with USA trade as a Trump he forced them to do, because Trump he made them almost face face bankruptcy. The economy of China is horrible now. So China will never go against USA because they need USA and they are no match to in the same time. <clears throat> Uh, many Iranian they are leaving Islam this is true actually if you go and watch the videos for six weeks ago you will see the Iranian they are jumping in the like the, the those uh, uh, electric post in the street they hang like death to America death to Israel they climb on them and they cut them and they and they burn them go watch the videos those are Iranian those are not Jews so we have a lot of people who support there is many Iranian right now they are praying for Trump to do something they wanted that to happen. <clears throat> um, yeah, well, anyway, uh, you know, they are, Trump is making many people angry because he do things nobody do. And that's why I like him. Uh, Mr. R.S., thank you for the donation. Turkey and France and Russia and China back in Iran, 30 over, uh, over American army killed in Iran. Trump cancel his speech. All Arab countries advised by Iran don't get involved. It's a target. Yeah, no, my friend. You see, uh, Turkey, France, Russia, China, they are not backing Iran. No. Actually, it's the opposite. The first one who condemned, they are, uh, they, they, are, uh, they are coming out of the... A new uh, clear facility agreement it was the French secondly uh, nobody will back up Iran you're mistaken nobody will back them nobody because they have no friends you see Russia is not a friend of Iran they never been a friend to them but they are a, um, they are a, like a market for them it's a business so they have a lot of income <clears throat> coming from Iran and this war against Iran will increase the income of the Russian. And the Russian, they will never do anything except doing business as normal. Smart people. Uh, and the same as China too. <clears throat> Why does Islam always hate donkeys? I don't know, but I think donkeys hate Islam too. <laughs> By the way, donkey is a very, very smart animal. <clears throat> Many of us, like we use the word donkey, uh, but the fact, I think I told you this story before. Once I, I was a youth, like, you know, I, I don't know, 16, 17, I forgot. Uh, so we went in the mo mountains area, and uh, it's very high mountains, and you, you will get lost easy. So we asked the villager okay how we will come back here you know is there is a way so what we would do he said take the donkey with you he said what he said take the donkey he said when you are done from your hiking going around whatever you know let the donkey and follow him he said are you sure he said yeah just let the donkey and honest to god the donkey took us to the house and only not only that he took us in a shortcut the donkey so donkeys, they are like they have their own GPS system. He was able to go home. We are a human. We do not know how to go home because there's nothing. Trees, green, you know, there, there's no roads. The, the donkey, he took all of us. We just followed him. The, the, the villagers, he told us, just follow the donkey. So as you see, a donkey can be smart. A lot of, uh, uh, you know, more than maybe a big number of the human. And he's a donkey. We insult him always, right? <clears throat> when he said, take the donkey with you, we thought he's laughing, you know? I mean, we were looking at this donkey, talking this donkey with us. <laughs> hey, buddy, where are you going? <laughs> Come with us. So the donkey, he was like, we did not do anything, actually. We just let him go. I said, go, you know? 
and he turned his back and he started going and we follow him and we were afraid he will he will run but he did not run <coughs> uh, the next war will be between Saudi Arabia and Iran after Trump attack I don't think so things will go that much because Iranian they don't dare you see you know it's like one enemy is enough if they want to join the Saudi and then the rest I mean things will be horrible for them you see the Saudi they are buying missiles from USA for the last 20 years at least and all those missiles will be launched you know because that's it so <clears throat> and they have money you know the Saudi they have a lot of money before they finish what they have they will buy more so it's not for their benefit and then Israel will join I mean they are they are not that's you know this is all is not an attack this is a fake attack it's a fake attack it's a fake attack made by fake, fake mullahs by fake religion by fake fake Shia they are not brave enough to do what they promise I mean all those missiles they laid down for, for they did not even hit an American target they hit an Iraqi base you see this is not an this is not an attack against America this attack against the Iraqi so now the Iraqi should respond because the missiles did not fall, they are not falling down in in an American base it is it is an Iraqi base you know <clears throat> so obviously it is yeah it is the if attack the if attack <laughs> It's a daif attack, right? Yeah, it's a it's a fabricated it's a fabricated attack made by the Iranian regime to make themselves look like they are powerful, we are strong, and we can do something. We did not let it go, and look what we did. But the fact they did nothing, and there is no way that all those missiles are shot and then they did not kill an American chicken, right? The difference between Shia and Sunni, well. There is a huge difference for sure but all of both of them they uh, uh, they share one thing hate you know the, the the god of hate the god of violence but they are totally different you know shia and sunni they are like let us say they are two faces of one coin but the two faces are two totally different yeah i'm telling you this is a fake attack you know this this attack i think you know one of two Either the Iranian missiles, they are run by shawarma and hummus, so they hit the wrong target, or the Iranian government, they did attack in purpose an empty land. Because there is no way, I mean, all those missiles, not even one hit something. Like, come on. You know, this is remind me of a, of a guy, uh, he went to the wood. He asked where, where where I can find the lion. I wanna I wanna shoot him. They told him you will find him in the etc area and under the tree. He sleep always there. He's a big a huge lion. So he took a gun with him with one bullet. He went there and he stood in the front of the lion and he shot. The lion. He said to him. Uh, he woke up. He missed. He said. Uh, I don't know how to say this joke for you. <laughs> Either I eat you or <laughs> the guy he said <laughs> the second day the guy he came and he have a, a gun with two weapon two, uh, two like uh, two bullets he shot two bullets and he missed again the the lion he said to him okay either I eat you or <laughs> I will make you version <laughs> so uh, the guy he said okay make me version whatever so the guy he came the third day and he have an AK-47 have 30 bullets he shot the 30 bullets and they missed all of them like what I mean the lion is just in the front of him sleeping he shot 30 bullets and yet he missed because obviously he liked the other he liked the punishment of the lion he don't like to, 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 to kill the lion he like what the line will do to him because he missed you know and this is exactly what the mullah of iran is doing they are not going to shoot the american they like what the american they will do to them there is no way 30 bullets they did not hit the lion not even his finger not even his toes
What a crazy mullahs. I mean, everybody will be laughing at them. Everybody will be laughing at them if there is not even one American soldier got injured. They shot the Iraqi. They did not shoot the American. Like when I heard the news, Iran attack American. Okay, oh man, American really attack American? And then I went and I checked and they did not attack American. They are attacking Iraqi. This is an Iraqi base and they did not hit any American. God of violence is God of uh, the Bible who did not even leave a donkey alive. Poor donkey. My friend, uh, truth exposed. I like when you say that because according to the Quran, the God of the Bible is Allah. Hmm. And now if I show you that you're Allah, he killed a donkey, what you will do? Are you willing to call me and you call yourself a donkey if I show you that Allah killed donkeys? What do you say? Are you willing to call me and be a man to say, okay, I stand with my opinion and I am I am willing to say that. Do you like to call me? Just to show you how, how, how potato you are. Hmm. CP and Jesus is satanic. You can insult me, no problem, but don't insult Jesus, my friend. Based on what you said, I will send you free shipping and handling to Allah, princess. Little boy, like your prophet, who want to date six years old girl. Prophet Muhammad. He woke up in the morning. He was singing, he's a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. He is a plastic and fantastic. He will marry Aisha. She is six years old, for she is plastic. He like plastic. I mean, what kind of a... I mean, how dare you even talk about violence? I mean, look at you. Look at you. You're a prophet is a rapist. And he like a children's. And not only that, he like to kiss men down their belly. <clears throat> Let me show you the hadith so you don't say I'm making things up. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet he do kiss men down their belly? Man. What a prophet. Don't stop, prophet. Don't stop. Yes, prophet, please. Don't stop. I like it there. Here we go. And you are talking about violence and blah, blah, blah. This is a prophet of God. This is a prophet of God going under the t-shirt of somebody and kissing him in his belly. And the guy, please, prophet, don't stop. I like it there. Don't, don't even mention the topic. Come on. <clears throat> No, he, I don't think he is a gay. I think he is a lousy person. You see, this is not a gay behavior. This guy, he has mental illness. This is not a gay. This is this guy is crazy. He, you know, he is like Iran. He is missing the target. He want to kiss his mouth. He's kissing his uh, mom. It's like Iran exactly. This prophet, he want to kiss the guy in his mouth. A French kiss. But uh, he's like Iran. He want to hit the American, but he hit the American, the, 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 the Iraqi. I mean, the Iranian are exist in the middle of Iraq and they have Soleimani just a week ago. So they knew all the maps of the Iraqi base, all the American base. How in the world they, their missiles missed hundreds of kilometers away? And instead of hitting the American, they are hitting the Iraqi base. And this is Muhammad, he want to kiss the man in his mouth. But but look, he is kissing him in the wrong place. And the guy, he says, the Prophet, don't stop, don't stop. I like it there. This is how I like it. And this is a Muslim translation, by the way. It's not true. <clears throat> you idiot, a true hadith is saying, the man, he kissed the Prophet. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, it, it, a truth is uh, ex, exposed. He is he is exposing me. Hold on, let me show you. Just to show you the stupidity. <coughs> you idiot! You idiot! The hadith saying that the man kissed him. <laughs> Supposedly now it's better. <laughs> uh, 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 
you are wearing a shirt, but I am not. Why is not? He's naked. And the prophet S.A.W. raised his shirt. The prophet, he raised his shirt. <laughs> Truth. Are you sure you are not paid by the Mossad? Are you serious? I think you are paid by the Mossad to make your prophet look like an idiot. Supposedly now, he did fix it. It's not the prophet kissing the guy, Billy. It is the guy kissing the prophet, Billy. I mean, are you stupid or what? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> you know, <laughs> in China, they say he lived as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. This guy, he never lived as a donkey, not even as a mule. Oh, boy. <clears throat> you know, hey, hello, hello. He did not. It's not him who kissed the. You know, the guy was kissing his Billy. Hello. <laughs> Why we should support Israel? Israel was uses America, and we get nothing from it. Only bad reputation because of everyone hate Israel. No, let me tell you why we should support Israel. First of all, if you are a Christian, if you are a Christian, you support what is right. And what is right? If we ask right now, the land they belong to who? Belong to the Jews, the Israeli. The Bible says that and the Quran says that. Here we go. This is the Yellow Pages of Muhammad, chapter 5, verse number 21. Even the Yellow Pages of Muhammad saying this is the land of the Jews. So if you are a person of dignity, you should support those who own the land. This is number one. Number two, uh, who said we have no benefit from Israel? If not Israel, they will be hating you and killing you. Those Muhammadan, the, the, like ISIS and Al-Qaeda, they say Saturday first and Muhammad himself, Saturday first and the Sunday next, which means we kill the Jews first and then the Christian next. So if you think they are not doing a favor, they are doing a favor for you. If not them, they will be focusing on you. But now all the focus in Israel. So it's foolish of you to say I don't support Israel. Me myself, I will be. I will support Israel. Actually, if there is a war between Israel, but sadly I'm, they will not accept me. I will. I will not mind to join the Israeli army. This is the land of the Jews. They have the right to keep it and to have it. The Bible says all over, and the Quran in front of you is saying that. All right? <clears throat> the man he wants to take revenge, my friend. Okay, a, a truth. Just to show you how silly you are. What revenge is that? You are a prophet of God going inside the shirt of a man, lifting your shirt, getting naked, and kissing each other. What, the, what, what, what revenge? What is that? What is that talking about? What kind of a prophet is that? Is that a street boy? If you right now, you live in England, and then you see a guy doing what, exactly what your prophet and the guy do, what you will say? What is this? Your prophet, he put eyeliner. Your prophet, he put lipstick. Your prophet, he piss, uh, is sitting. Your prophet, uh, uh, what he, he do? Uh, ah, yeah, I forgot. He never received Quran unless he is wearing his wife's clothing. I mean, what is what is left? And not not only that, there's a hadith that says, "Ibn Ammi qad hataka ardi." My 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 cousin, he dripped my my honor. My you know, he raped me. Either he raped him or raped his daughter. Choose one. This is what hataka ardi mean. All right. <coughs> so you are a funny man, and your prophet is funnier. Yeah, and yeah, he 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 want to squeeze people, and you not only that, you know. Uh, Allah, he sent Jibreel in the look of his boyfriend, Dahil Kalbi. And Dahil Kalbi, he spent the night always in the house of the Prophet. Hmm. Anyway, what is your opinion about religion in Balkan, for example, in Albania? Well, I'm not sure about, you know, Alba I know Albania, the majority are Muslims, and there is a Christians there, there is uh, there is a... Uh, uh, maybe 10 percent or 12 percent you know i cannot say much the same as most of countries who have majority of muslims albania was nicer but then the saudi they start sending their teacher to teach islam in albania and they became more into uh, uh, you know terrorism <coughs> 
pray for a Christian Iranian don't worry about them my friend the Christians always God he provide them you see we are in the Middle East look at us nobody care for us God he care for us right we have the ambulances coming I think it's coming to pick up truth exposed <clears throat> Or maybe there's a fire. <coughs> All right. <coughs> yeah, he was just a prophet. <coughs> he let man take re re revenge. What? What revenge? I mean, what revenge? Okay, I am a prophet. I go and I put a stick under your shirt and left your stick, and then. You say to me, hey, prophet, I don't have, you know, you have a shirt, I don't have a t-shirt. So what do you do? You lift your shirt up and he start kissing you down there, according to you. According to you, it's not your prophet kissing, right? I mean, what is this? <laughs> this guy, he will keep talking about it. Adal <clears> Qudus <throat> Nasir. Okay, my friend, the Jerusalem is waiting for you, Mr. Uh, Mossad. Jerusalem is waiting for you and you are a potato because you keep saying that for centuries last time I heard that it was 70 years ago and then now you did not go to Jerusalem or what a potato who's holding you we want to be murdered by a billion this is what he's saying by in Arabic potato you are a coward you are sitting behind your computer why you don't do something hmm? I have an idea why the Iranian did they put the missiles in your butt and throw it at Jerusalem this way, your butt will get the blessing of being exposed. I mean, it will be all over Jerusalem. Potato. All I. Oh boy. Okay, we are connecting. You know, look at this. <clears throat> uh, I mean, nation one thing, this guy here is not suffering from. Just one thing. Look at this. Even his sex was fake. Fake orgasm, fake sex. Once the prophet was bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he did not. Like what? Like what? Like what? Explain to me, brother. Explain to me. Okay. I will explain to you, brother. Okay. Uh, like <clears throat> uh, the prophet, he think he had uh, sexual intercourse, uh, but in fact he did not. Do you see it? What kind of a prophet this prophet is? I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Continue for such and such, how such and such, how long, how long, how many years? Period, imagine that he had slept with his wives, but in fact, he did not, it was the neighbor. <laughs> I hate when the neighbor, he do that to you, brother. So if Muhammad, he think he had sex with his wife, but in fact, it was not him, it was who? Huh? Are you there, Mr. Uh, Truth? Your prophet was imagining himself having sex with what? And with who? Hmm? What's wrong with this guy? I mean, mention one thing about this guy is right. He's a crazy, he's mad, a child molester, kiss men in their belly. Even when he has sex, he is having sex with the pillow. Or maybe the goat. It wasn't the wife for sure, as you see. And by the way, he's awake. This is not like a guy, he's asleep. This is during daytime. This guy, he think. Did you guys watch the movie? It's called... Uh, 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 the movie is called The Host. Anyone watch it? Watch it. It's exactly like Muhammad. This guy, the host, he imagined that he have guessed... Uh, he have etc. Uh, the, the 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 Muslim guy in Arabic saying the army of Muhammad will come till the Jews. My friend, the army of Muhammad does not exist. Where it is? Look at you. You are killing each other. Army of Muhammad. If not America, you will be finish each other. Like if America now go out, Saudi and Iranian and Arab and Iraqi and India, we will be eat each other. Come on, potato. Army of Muhammad. You have an army of potatoes. It is us who protect your land, even your Kaaba. Face it, face it. This is the truth. We have base in every Islamic country. Like name one, name one. Like what is, what is the biggest Islamic country you are proud about? Turkey, we have three bases there. Do you know what it's mean to have three bases? 
a country who have an enemy making three paces in his country it's mean he is a potato what about Qatar mean this guy is a Muslim Brotherhood <laughs> very religious what about Saudi Arabia oh the land of the Holy Kaaba brother <laughs> we have four bases what about Kuwait all oh, the whole the whole island of Kuwait is our base <laughs> I mean what is left where is the Mohammedan army you have shawarma my friend you have a shawarma falafel hummus army look you are like your prophet you imagine yourself you have an army but in fact you don't <clears throat> explain difference between shia and sunni there is no difference my friend except that the shia they worship ali and they believe that ali and his family uh, they are they used to be light from the forehead of allah and uh so they are not really human all the family of ali they are not a human they are they are light they are made of light and then allah he sent them as mercy for mankind to the earth to live between us so the shia they went way far in worshiping the sunni they worship muhammad alone the shia they worship all the family which means the shia are like twice more stupid than the sunni in their belief and they have a lot of tons of stories which is really amazing and it's very funny like as an example if you wear a black shoes your private part will not function and this is true this is true brother <laughs> and if you wear a, a yellow shoe your, your your private part will be like me like just wear a yellow shoe so if you have a problem with your in, in your sexual life a shia can fix it for you you need yellow shoe black shoe is the problem the, the, the Shia, they even, I mean, they, 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 are, they have a crazy belief. As an example, even they believe that uh, fruits and vegetables are Shia or Sunni. So if a fruit is sour, this is Sunni. If the fruit is a sweet, she is Shia. Like if there is a watermelon, she is sweet, and the watermelon is not sweet. The sweet one is a Shia, the other one is not. I'm not joking, this is, by, I mean, this is what they believe. You know? <clears throat> The prophet he sucked the boy tongue i think uh, what happened uh, the prophet he was trying uh, you know like the boy tongue was so small and he want to make it longer <laughs> what what a question is that man don't ask me <laughs> why iranian majority is shia is not sunni uh, you know that's there is a reason because you see in certain time the shia they were more than sunni actually the Shia, they were more. You see, Egypt was all of it Shia. Do you know that? Al Hakim Amrullah Al Fatimi, he was a caliphate of the Shia, the, the state of Al Fatimiyin. Those are Shia. And those are crazy too. Like Al Hakim Amrullah Al Fatimi, he claimed that he is Allah himself on the earth. And he have a son, spiritual son, his name is Hamza al Bahlawan. And they have letters between them. And this is what it's called now the rules the rules they believe in those letters it's called the book of wisdom seven letters so shia is many many sect they are like very complicated al quramita they are shia too iran warned israel saudi and others if their land is used to my friend this warning is like a farting in the ground israel is always going to be involved israel is hitting hezbollah for the last of 10 years when why they even hit iran Israel, they did hit, hit Iranian soldiers. They killed many Iranian soldiers in the last, just few months ago. Why Iran did not hit back? It's just a fart, uh, you know. This is like, you know, like I want to make noise. Coward, they don't dare, my friend. Salaf is, some, some, the word Salaf is the, 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 the people of old, which means like saying Orthodox. So Salafi is those who follow the one who was in the past, the first of, uh, of Islam. So Salafi supposedly is ISIS and Al Qaeda, and uh, you know those who wanna follow the true Islam, those are Salafi, which means Salafi is the true Muslims. The rest is just uh, like aftermarket. Uh, <coughs> show us the story. Can you show us the story? What story? Well, our topic today is not about I mean telling you stories. But, you know, always we have here a lot of education we can share with you. Uh, but today, we, you know, our topic is about the fake attack of Iran. <laughs> you 
you know honestly when i heard this i said man those guys they did that how i mean i was really surprised but then i turned out that they are not shooting at the american they are shooting at the empty backyard i mean what a bunch of cowards <clears throat> Let me show you uh, the map. <clears throat> I will put it on the screen in a second. Give me a second. All right. I'm trying to find a map. All right look like here we have something all right <clears throat> here this is here showing you the the the, the maps you know uh, let me see if i can zoom in those are army bases and look they did not shoot at any of them not a single one they shot only at the iraqi one look this one look how close it is to iran did you see this one in, the, in yellow this one is in the borders of iran exactly in the borders but the coward iraqi Ira iranian government they did not dare to shoot at it look do you see it look at this one this is in the border exactly in the border so what they did they shot missiles at the iraqi bases <clears throat> and this is why I'm telling you this is a fake attack because if they will now really harm American soldiers they will shoot this first one this is the most close one to them if there's nothing there except American but what they shot they shot at an Ira Iraqi base all those bases are American bases right <clears throat> uh, you said Allah killed at the donkey it challenged you to show me I guess have nothing talk uh, is cheap uh, my my friend truth expose uh, uh, are you willing to call me like right now and if I show you that you will agree that you are a donkey is that fair guys if I show you that Allah he killed donkeys are you willing to call me right now and you are you promise if I show you that, you will say, and I will, it's recorded. I will make everybody take it all over the internet. You will say that you are a donkey. Say yes, Abbas. Say yes, be a man. I will open Skype just for you. <clears throat> Abbas, say yes. I will open Skype just for you. <coughs> are you calling a friend? What happened to? No, show me. No, show me first. I want to, to to. I will show you live on air, and right away you swear by Allah, you know, uh, uh, and and His murky water, that you will say that you are a donkey if I show you because this is, we have a challenge here. Hello, hello, but you are a coward. You don't dare to do it because you know Christian Prince. He will never say something without proof. So are you willing to call Abbas? I will make you more famous. We have tons of videos about you. People are laughing at you in the in the do, do you still go there? So be a man, keep your promise, call me live, huh? And tell and say and say clearly. I you know, I want you to say it in advance. Christian Prince, that if this is a true, I announce myself, etc. Now show me. That's it. Because I know after I show you, you will not say it. one of the weak sources here we go see he changed now he changed look look, look he, cho he changed his tune look look he's talking about weak source now first it was not exist now he is talking about weak source look look at this look at this how cute I, I wish i can grow like you know like some some like you in my backyard but the city will not allow me no chicken they said no chicken no even rooster you are not a rooster not a chicken you are not even a chick what's wrong with you man i thought there is nothing no, it's weak source. No, it's not weak sources. Guaranteed. It's very strong sources. <clears throat> hmm? What do you say? 
very 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 strong a b c vitamin d o o h m m a a a are you willing coward like your prophet potato 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 i like to get the skin i like to put it in i like to run the knee Okay, forget about this Abbas. He's just a kid. So as you see, guys, the <clears throat> the American bases is all over, and those cowards they did not shoot any of them. They shot the Iraqi. They are shooting at the Iraqi. You know, uh, uh, truth. I thought you are a man. You are not. Just get lost. I'm not going to even let you speak a text in my chat. Get out. Get out. Either you call me and you make a challenge, be a man, or you're a potato. Don't come here. Next time you come here, bring your parents with you. Or Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, he will call me and he will say, mute him. Hang up on him. <laughs> Christian boy. <laughs> they are very much intimidated by me to the point they don't dare to let me talk. They are scared, terrified. Not only that, there's a guy, his name is Samsi. You know, do you know Samsi? He go to speak a corner. He said to them, Good temperance is the, the terrorist. Imagine the Muslim, they are saying, I am a terrorist. How scary I am, man. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> uh, how many books did you read per day now? I don't read really anymore. I mean, I read, but not much as. Uh, when, I, when I was really young, I used to eat, read a lot. You know, when I was a kid, uh, I remember walking really long, long distance to go to a center. It's like a library, a huge library. And then, not only that, you know, then how you can get in, because there is a there's a floor for kids have like a Mickey Mouse, stupid stuff. So what I do, I want to go to the adult, uh, I mean, like for those who they are over eighteen. Uh, so what I do, I wait until somebody come in to enter that that uh, floor, and I walk next to him. I act like if I am his kid, you know, I'm with him. So the guy who is in the library, when he see me with that guy, he will he will not complain. He will not ask me where are you going, you know. And the guy he will be looking at me like why I'm walking with him. <laughs> anyway, when he go, I go I keep going. Whatever he sit in the table, I sit. I cannot grab a book from the uh, from the library, which means you have to go to the guy. You say to him, "Give me this book." He give it to you. I cannot do that. I'm just a kid. They kick me out. So what I do? I grab any book left in the table. You know, people leave the books in the table. Whatever it is, I can get my hand on. I start reading. This is how you know I spend my time all the summer vacation. I'm just reading books. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I like uh, uh, I used to spend actually all the money I save in books. I don't have toys or etc. I used to play a, a lot, but not in, you know like you know I, I liked like to do hiking, go river, etc. Swimming, but uh, I don't uh, you know either. I spend my money only in books. You know, so I have really a lot, a lot of books. You know, when I was. Uh, in the Middle East, and the more you grow, the more the the. Uh, actually, once I remember, <clears throat> I was reading a book. It's called a Jahiz. Any of those who speak Arabic, they knew a Jahiz. A Jahiz is a very complicated book. The guy is a genius. Uh, so I was reading the book, and my dad he saw the book in the table. He said, "Who is reading this book?" Uh, and I look at him. <laughs> he said, "I said me." I said you. This book you are you are reading you 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 bought this book? I said yeah, and he said you can read it, you can even like even you can read the Arabic in there. He said okay, read for me. This is, let me see. So I start reading for him. <laughs> yeah. So this is a book, a very complicated book. It's called a Jahiz. Very very fantastic uh, uh, writer. Uh, <clears throat> so this is how you grow, you know, your knowledge. It's, it doesn't it doesn't happen overnight. 
you know thing doesn't happen overnight you have to spend a lot it's like a, uh, you invest a lot of time you know to 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 have knowledge exactly al-jahiz al-bukhala yeah yeah you know how complicated this book is very fantastic book you know when i was but i was a kid i was like you know nine ten years old reading such a book <clears throat> uh, i did get him busted already those are kids they, they, they have no knowledge uh, some say he made a video about the bible so i made a video for him respond and people laughing at him just search my videos my friend search them all all those names are getting i, I bust them long time ago jews hate jesus more than muslims it is in the Talmud and they yeah okay let, let, let me show you here this guy he keep attacking the Jews uh, I wanna I wanna show you how we don't we should not listen to this such a kind of a statement all the disciples of Jesus they are Jews Mary she is a Jew Joseph is a Jew Paul is a Jew I mean shall I continue so the Jews are the first people who believed in Jesus, and if not the Jews, we are not the Christians. Because all the disciples of Jesus who brought Christ to us, they are the Jews. This is number one. Number two, the majority of the Jews are already Christians, so they are they are called Messianic Jews. So because if you're ignorant, you think that Jews are only those who they are calling themselves Jews. No, Jews are two kinds of Jews. There's Jews who they are Messianic Jews, which means Christian Jews, and there is Jews who did not accept Christ. However, you hate Christ more than those you name, and I will tell you how. Because of Christ, he said, love your enemy. And instead, you concentrate in hating the Jews. You love to say hateful things against the Jews, for you are false and you are no Christian. For me, I love the Muslims, I don't hate them. So why I will hate the Jews? And the Messiah himself in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. This is how much the Messiah, he loved the Jews, to the point he forgave them in the cross. So who are you coming here to try to make us hate the Jews? I will tell you who are you. You are a filthy creature who cannot handle the truth. And you have to blame the Jews. Hmm? you are like let us divide and conquer let us make the christians and the jews hate each other get out of here satan i spit on you and after i spit on you i wash my spit with detergent and i want my spit back we ban him guys do you like do you like the answers of christian prince do you like do you like my answers <clears throat> never let those people make you hate the jews the second you hate the Jews, you are no Christian. Period. Whatever the Jews do, you know, we we should even love the Muslims. So why we will hate the Jews? At the end of the day, maybe more than ninety-five percent of the Jews are Christian already. This is why the Jews are still small. You know, after all those thousand of years, only twenty millions left of the Jews. What happened? Because the majority of them they are Christians. And those Jews who left are Jews, still they are coming to Christ. So they stay as a, they say as Jews or not, that's that's not will not change anything. We will not hate them. And the one who tried to make you hate them, he is the devil. He play, divide and conquer. Mostly it's a Muhammadan who come here. He says the Jews did that. You know, when I was a, I remember once, <clears throat> you know, you know, I debated tens of thousands of Muslims. I'm not exaggerating in the number. So uh, he says, uh, how come you defend the Jews? They killed Jesus. <laughs> I said, I thought they did not. <laughs> I thought they did not. So imagine how evil they are. Suddenly now he wanted, he want me to believe that Jesus was a crucified. But they are laughing at us. Jesus did not die. The Jews could not kill him. But just because he wanted me to hate the Jews, he, want, he now agree that Christ is crucified by the Jews. You know what I mean? Do you see how much hate they have, my friend? So don't don't fail into their trap. Mm 
don't fail, don't uh, fail in their trap. It's trap of the devil. <clears throat> yeah we are smarter than that uh, by the way don't forget to subscribe if you did not and if you subscribe already don't forget to unsubscribe because <laughs> we have a you know Allah will give you a blessing brother if you do you know, look look at this mentality of this cult a brother a brother if you do something wrong huh you can erase it by doing something right okay and Allah will double your reward. Okay, hold on. So now I do wrong. I subscribe to Christian friends. This is wrong. Then I unsubscribe and Allah will give me two deeds. <laughs> what a stupid cult, man. Shish kebab hummus. Falafel. Idiots. <clears throat> uh, you wish to share? Oh, I'm not sure what does that mean. <coughs> share your art your Ernie M O S ah you mean my uh, my no I don't like to share any information about what I did in the army <clears throat> no private information I don't share everybody knows that uh, so anyway I mean this uh, this attack on uh, in uh, uh, American base if the news is true that not even one American soldier get injured obviously this is a fake attack and those coward they did not dare to attack any American base actually you know what they say American base under attack it was false it was Iraqi bases under attack zero American bases been attacked zero uh, or the Salafi in Saudi Arabia following the Salah the Salaf well the Saudi yeah they are because you know they are following Abdul Wahab Muhammad Abdul Wahab is the founder of the new movement, if we can say it, a new movement. Uh, you know, since the time of uh, King Abdul Aziz, the founder of Saudi Arabia, uh, he uh, he used this man uh, to control the kingdom. And this man, simply, his idea is very simple. We have to follow the steps of the Prophet. So he is a Salafi, and they call him nowadays Wahhabi. All right? Th those are true Muslims. The rest are not. <clears throat> All right. I killed someone yesterday. I gave themself a guy a cup of coffee. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it's not like that. We don't want to be. But you know the the idea of reward in Islam is a very silly idea. Uh, 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 as an example, if you kill a lizard, Allah will give you. Uh, 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 like uh, depend how you kill it so if you kill a lizard from the first shot Allah will give you the top reward if you kill it from the second shot Allah will give you less let us see <clears throat> Uh, why uh, Muhammad he ordered to kill the lizard? Anyone remember? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, lizard. I'm trying to find the hadith. Give me a second. Yeah, so if you know, that's what I'm saying. Islam have a here we go, like read and laugh. So, Allah will give you a reward whoever kills the house lizard in one blow will have such and such a reward from Allah. This is from Allah, not from Muhammad. This is in heaven, reward in heaven. This is not uh, like now I will give you some hummus. No, and whoever kill him from the two blows, Allah will give him such and such reward. And the one less than the one in the first and if you kill him in the third 
<laughs> you will get the less. <laughs> I mean, this religion not only have the American and the Jews, even the lizard, they are anti, they are anti Jews, anti Christians, anti America, anti Israel, anti democracy, anti freedom, anti human right, and anti lizard. <laughs> what a stupid cult, man! Oh boy. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> And by the way, the, the, the lizard is very dangerous, brother. I mean, we have to be, uh, oh, come on, serious. Right? Uh, yeah. Somebody saying that the scholars of Islam, they made a fatwa to forbid from subscribing to Christian Prince channel in Arabic. All right, no problem. <clears throat> yeah, because he's saying he's being funny too. He's saying because if you hit the ring, you know that the, the bell is uh, is haram. The bell, brother. <laughs> the bell is haram. <laughs> yeah, the reason for for the lizard to be killed, by the way, because brother, the lizard was the one who wanted the fire to burn Abraham. And he was blowing air at Abraham. Let me show you the hadith. True story, brother. And this is why I'm saying, like, if I say I, I got I got 99 fish, why people don't believe? I mean, look at the stories of Muhammad. People believe it. And me, I say I got 99 fish. Nobody believe it. Yeah, actually, I did not even get one fish yesterday. <clears throat> not even Not even a bite. You believe it? I mean, not even hello. Okay, let us see a story about. Uh, here we go. Here is here the story. This is Sahih Hadith. Here we go. That all the animals in the jungle they came to stop the fire in Abraham, except the lizard. Except who? The lizard. Do you see it? Do you see it? I mean, this is a prophet of God. And you uh, and those millions, they want to die for the sake of the guy who tells those stories. I know, very fishy. No, actually, not only me. I mean, all the guys, they told me. When I arrived there, there was people before me. They said, don't waste your time. There's no fish today. Uh, so, uh, but I went there to enjoy the, you know, the beach. But not even a, not even a sardine, you believe it? I mean, come on, even sardine. But I think, I think what happened, I forgot to say, inshallah, before I start fishing. Uh, we are not in the same time zone. Can I treat you out for a dinner? Uh, my friend, I don't eat dinner. You are inviting me wrong invitation. <laughs> I don't eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> fishing in the Dead Sea? No, <laughs> no, it's not a Dead Sea. Actually, no, it's a very nice uh, uh, beach where I, I am. And right now, I'm not home. You know, I'm in a different location. It's a very nice area here. Very nice, beautiful. I, I, you know, like this is a, is a, the beach is like paradise. The water is so clear, beautiful. You know, it's like a, it's like the water you drink. You know, it's very, very, very clear. The sand is very beautiful. I recorded the video actually, but I don't have time to load it. Just to show you, <clears throat> uh, ordering the death of the pagans. Yeah, well, we can talk about this. Uh, they're talking about Al Uzza, he, how he killed her. Eh, stupid story. Maybe next time, my friend, we go in here, you can remind me about the story of Al Uzza. We speak about it. Why you don't apologize for saying that Mary was not virgin? Because she had sex with your God, stops in denying. Uh, it is in YouTube channel. He sent audio. Uh, you know, my friend, those audios are fabricated. They put things together. You are a, you are a bunch of cowards, all of you. The same as the video he played for me about his sister saying to me, "I'm saying to her, suckle me." I was reading from your prophet hadith. Bunch of cowards, all of you. 
when you don't apologize. The fact it was your sister, do you want me to play the tape for you? Was saying that Jesus was playing with his mother. The video, which is you, Muslim, you play, the beginning of it, it says she said that. Cowards, filthy cowards. Do you, see, do you see even how they try to frame you and to put, you know, like, you know, man, Christians are laughing at you. And why why your Mimi Hijab did not debate me and play it for me so we can love together? Hmm? Cowards. You people are a bunch of cowards, filthy cowards. You do edit videos and you put things together. Filthy like your prophet. <clears throat> Well, there was uh, you know, a video about the Messiah and Netflix. They are filthy. Just don't subscribe to Netflix. If you have the channel, just uh, drop it down. Right? Just drop it down. <clears throat> Do you think about the Mount of Musas? You see, like history have uh, uh, tons of uh, stories, but I don't think there is a place which is important. What is important is the belief, because you are what you believe. So, um, like we are not the same as Muslims. You know, the Muslim they have a Kaaba. They supposed the Allah He built it. There is a stone which is in, in the shape of a vagina. The Muslims have to kiss it because they believe it's going to witness for them in the day of uh, judgment and it is the right hand of Allah we don't believe in this garbage so for us even the temple is a symbolic for the house of God but God don't have a house and God do not need a house and God do not need holy stones and we don't believe in holy stones or even holy corners we are Christians we are not Muhammadan we are not pagans so for us, the temple, even when Jesus speak about the temple, he spoke about himself. He said, you destroy this temple, I will build it in three days. That was his body, his flesh. So the most important temple for us is what God he gave us. It's our flesh to keep it pure and give it back to him as he gave it to us. All right. <clears throat> Some people, they concentrate in a land, like for me, when they speak about Jerusalem, yes, Jerusalem is an important city for sure. Uh, and uh, the reason I uh, I always say that this is the land of the Jews because this is this is the land of the Jews, as simple as that. You know, even the Quran says that. But you know, for me, um, God is not Jerusalem. The Messiah is not Jerusalem. Jerusalem is just a city. The whole earth will be demolished. The whole earth will be demolished. There's nothing will be left. Right. <clears throat> Uh, Muhammadan because they are pagan all their belief is attached to one thing stones and rocks and etc Muhammad is a superstition person and he, he believed in many stupid stories <clears throat> so Jesus throw the money uh, changes out of his own body what does that mean Christopher what does that mean Jesus is throw money changers out of his own body oh you are talking about the the, the those who they are buying and selling uh, you, uh, you are being silly no that because this is a house of a prayer and those people they make it a house of buying and sinning insulting god it's not about his body and you know you are being silly here i mean grow up be, be a man don't be a kid you know if you want to be a kid just get, get out but because they dishonor the house of god so the messiah he have jealousy that you are people hypocrites you are filthy hypocrites you claim that you are coming here because you believe in this house. Why they are there? Because supposedly they are Jews, right? Those are not uh, the Aramaic or no, those are the Jews. So how in the world you are a Jew and you made the house, the temple of God, 
a place of buying and selling. So he was exposing their hypocrisy, showing them that you should be jealous for the house of God. You are a hypocrite. You, all what you care for is making money. But, you know, I, 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 I think that if in that time you were exist there, you will say to Jesus, so are you throwing them out if you're a buddy? Jesus said, you can build, you can destroy this temple and I will build it. And this is what happened. He died. He resurrected. And he rebuilt the temple. So for you, you are making fun of what I said, but this is what we believe. So either you believe in what we believe or you don't believe in what we believe. However, if you want to debate somebody about a belief, you debate him about his belief, not your own. Because if you don't, that will make you stupid. But do you think the same people who brought, bought and said, sold in the table in the time of Jesus are the same people that Christians are against when they say Jews are pagan? We don't say Jews are pagan. That's not true. The Jews who worship Yahweh, Jehovah, they cannot be pagan. I don't know. You are making a stupid statement for me, Mr. Christopher. Who is the Christian who says Jews are pagan? How, how we can say that? They worship the same God of the Christians. How that can make them pagan? That's a very false argument. <clears throat> the Jews are not the same as the Muslim. They worship a different God, different name, different person. No. Huh? I didn't say pagan. Maybe I got your wrong. Hold on. Let me go back to your uh, your text. Okay. They say the Jews are general. What? Be oh, sorry. Per I don't know what do you mean by that. Jews are Jews. You see, for us, anyone don't accept Jesus is not saved, including the Jews. But that will not make the Jews bad people. They just made bad choice. And many people, they are Christians, but they are Christian by name. Still, they are not saved. And I don't know, look like you are concentrating in the Jews. You know, I don't know. The Jews are the same as anyone in the world. You know, for us as a Christian, we believe anyone don't accept Christ is not saved. Doesn't matter who. Jews, people calling themselves Christians, people call, call themselves, you know, call yourself whatever you want. There is no, the Messiah, he said, I am the door. I am the door. I'm the you know, There's nobody will be saved except by me. So Jews or not, there is no savior and there is no saving except by Christ. So if you are a Jew, you reject Jesus, you are not saved. If you are a Christian by name, you are not saved. You are Jehovah's Witnesses, not saved. You are a Muslim, not saved. You really need a student to reach all mankind over the world. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of propaganda against the Jews. Uh, uh, you know, the Jews are a very min a small minority. And they do not need your hate. And suddenly, you know, like we, we have to blame the Jews for everything. Even in the time of Jesus, I mean, I just mentioned that Jesus in the cross, in the cross, this is not in the mall, in the market or in the, you know, he's in the cross. Dying, bleeding, he said, forgive them, Father. So learn from Jesus how to forgive and how to love, my friend. So if you claim that you are a person can speak about the Messiah, well, obviously, you are far away from the Messiah. In the cross, he forgave them. That means he loved them. Because if he hid them, he should curse them. Correct, guys? He just, he should, he should curse them. Somebody is putting nails in your eyes, in your, in your hands, and your feet, and stabbing you, and, and giving you uh, vinegar uh, instead of uh, water, 
I mean, shouldn't you curse the person after all what they did? No, he did not. What happened is the opposite. He forgave them and he asked the Father to forgive them. Extreme love. So many people don't want to see Jesus the way he is. Jesus is an amazing person. No, Muhammad was not uh, circumcised and there is no proof of that. Even the Muslim, they say that uh, he was not. Which is very funny because he ordered everybody to be circumcised but he himself, he was not. <clears throat> you know? Yeah, this is not an Iranian airplane, the one crush. It is a Ukrainian. Ukrainian, but obviously most of the people inside may be Iranian. <clears throat> Should he the Antichrist? Okay, who is the Antichrist first? The Antichrist, anyone, and anyone, it can be me and you. So it can be Antichrist because of his ignorance, because Antichrist, the Bible says, who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the Father and the Son. And there's millions of people deny that. But there's but those people, not necessarily they are bad. He is Antichrist as a belief in the spirit, you know, like he is, uh, but there's some, they are ignorant. They need somebody to guide them. And there is some people, they hate Christ. So a person, he hate Christ, he, his problem is not with me. Is with the Christ. I'm not going to play judge or God and I will say, okay, I will kill you. You hate Christ. No. God, he do not need me to protect him. So that will be left to those in the in the judgment day. So even if you are anti-Christ, I don't have hate for you. You hate yourself already. You decide to go to hell. I don't hate you. I can expose you. I can expose your belief. The same as the, the one with the Muhammadan. I don't hate them, but I expose their cult. Right? Every Muhammadan, he reject what he reject. He reject the father, the son. The Bible says, who is the liar? Who is the Antichrist? Is the one who reject the father and the son. So based on the Bible, every Muhammadan is Antichrist. Still, we don't hate them. They are ignorant. They need our guidance. The, Jesus said, I came for the sick, not for... The healthy all right <clears throat> can Jews and Christians be friend while they do not worship the same God well my friend first we worship the same God you are wrong because Jesus they okay you will say to me they don't worship the Messiah right no problem but still they believe in the same God still they believe in Elohim this is their God and he's our God so it's wrong to say they don't believe in the same God. The rejection to Jesus does not make them don't believe in the same God. It makes them ignorance about who is the Messiah. Because the Jews, they have different idea of the Messiah. For them, he is a savior in the way like he will build a country, a kingdom. Someone will lead an army, will be victorious. You know, they have different idea. The Battle of Karbala, well, I think it happened. Why they would lie about it? The history says it happened. <clears throat> but the details is full of, uh, you know, every... Depend in the source, they have different story. The Sunni have different story, the Shia have different story. Yeah, the Jews, the Jews, not the Christian Jews. The Christian Jews didn't accept the Messiah already. And those are the majority. The one who don't accept the Messiah, they are the minority. And the funny, you know, we judge the Jews by the minority, not by the majority. The majority, they are Christian already. Right? Does Quran 39 
say Allah is one you see first of all Allah is one or two what that will make nothing I am one too Pfft. silly very 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 silly you know the, the when the Muslim they try to prove a point for us I find it like a, a low IQ argument because if you say to me that Allah is one or he is ten first of all one what are you counting God if you are saying he's one as a as number that's mean he is he's out of many is he's one what same time if there is somebody he have a thousand gods but they are true exist and somebody have one God but he doesn't exist so who is the winner the question should be is Allah is exist or not the Quran proved to us that Allah doesn't exist. Orthodox, Orthodox who? What Orthodox? The Jews are Orthodox? Jews are Jews, there's nothing it's called Orthodox. Jews are Jews. Either you believe in the Messiah or not. I saw bleeding man we told Shia book. So, so. Yeah, you know, those filthy who hate the Christ, they make movies and don't be angry, you know, it's okay. But, you know, let us, we can punish Netflix peacefully. Never subscribe to them. As simple as that. Let them have fun. <clears throat> the the Muslims are angry from the Jews, not from. It's not about land. You see, the Muslims, when when the Turkish they occupy all the Middle East, the Muslim they are not angry because they are Muslims. You know what I mean? Just you know, do you know that Egypt was ruled for more than a thousand year by people from Albania? Do you know that? Albania. And they never ask for freedom. He's just because they are Muslims, Muslim family from Albania. They rule Egypt, and those even they were they used to be slaves. They became kings. They brought them as slaves, and then they took over the the king, and then they made themselves kings. And the Muslims don't complain just because they are Muslims. So the whole idea of Israel is just about religion people don't understand they think it's about land it's not about land it's about religion they are jews and those are muslims because they are jews they should fight them that's all well this is a uh, this is the teaching uh, muhammad he took it you see muhammad is an idiot he heard the jews do some circumcision but he came with the idea that women they had to do circumcision too so now the Muslim they circumcise women and men. This is why Muslim women they never enjoy any kind of sexual activities. No. Revelation ten two ten. You see, uh, uh, no, the the Revelation doesn't say that the Jewish of the devil. It says the synagogue is synagogue of the devil. All right. Uh, and the church can be a church of the devil too. So don't mix misquote and put things in the wrong place. Anyone, any place, they wrong, they teach wrong teaching. What Jesus said, who is the father of all lies? Is the devil. So any place, even if it's a church, which is supposed to be a Christian place. Yet what is inside is teaching lies. It's a church of the devil or synagogue of the devil or mosque of the devil. Right? <clears throat> but people, they like to give interpretation as they wish. Just to support one propaganda, you know, the Jews, the Jews. No, my friend, the Jews, they are the one who brought Christ to us. If not the Jews, you will never even hear of him. 
he said to them go and teach and preach to the Jews all right you know the hate of people they not only make them blind but make them stupid and silly The message you see in Revelation, this is a message we can give it to everybody in any place. Not about the Jews. Anywhere. But, you know, obviously you have an issue with the Jews. Who are the Wahhabis? Wahhabis are just normal Muslims. They are Sunni. They follow Muhammad step by step. The same as the Salafi, it's just another name. The true Muslims, those are Wahhabi. So you are saying Muhammad is not a prophet? How? What make Muhammad a prophet? A prophet is somebody make a prophecy. Okay, what is the prophecy of Muhammad the prophet? <laughs> Here we go. Muhammad the prophet, he told us that there is a lizard who want to kill Abraham and he want to burn him. Is that a prophecy? Because now he's telling us about the past. You know, the prophecy is about something in the future. But if you tell something happened in the past, nobody knows except you. So, and we prove that this is a, must be a lie. Then Muhammad cannot be a prophet. Do you see the story in front of you? According to Muhammad, we should kill the lizard. Why? Because the lizard tried to burn uh, okay, a joke. So the lizard tried to burn Abraham. <laughs> right? Yeah, but you know, there is there is people, they feed in hating the Jews. And they, there are some, they come here, they can be Muslims too, to try to divide the Christians. So there's, there's many tricks. Like, let us make the Christian fight, like Catholic, Protestant, etc., you know? Let us fool those people, you know, divide and conquer. And then let us divide the Christians and the Jews. Let us make them hate each other. This is the plan of divide and conquer by, by the devil. Right? For us as a Christians, we will never hate the Jews. Actually, me, myself, I will be happy to support Israel to be safe and secure. Never let that happen and let people divide you. The vision is from the devil, my friend. All right? Anyway, I mean, look, look what our topic about. Our topic is about the attack of Iran and people talking about the Jews. People, they have meant, I don't know, I mean, there, is a, there is something wrong in their head. I mean, they cannot take the Jews out of their head. I think there's some people, they go to sleep, they see nothing but Jews. They wake up, they see Jews. He go to the kitchen, he see a Jew. He take a shower, he look in the mirror, he see a Jew. You know? <laughs> what the Jews? I mean, the Jews are a little tiny minority. A village in China is bigger than all the Jewish population. But yet, if you count how much hate there is against the Jews, you will not believe it. No, they are not even 20 millions, the whole Jews. My grandfather, he made more than 20 in 10 years, 20 million. I'm not exaggerating. Are they 20 million? No, I think they are 19, 19 million and 999. Yeah. <clears throat> right. What is the interpretation of Matthew? 19, 25, 26. My friend, how you can give interpretation for two verses? First of all, this is a very long logic. Wrong logic. Because you don't give interpretation for Bible by two verses. You give interpretation to the Bible, not verses. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, somebody... Uh, <clears throat> you have a camera. You have a camera and you took a picture 
and then the picture have many items and then you decide to delete all the items in the picture and you decide only to see two the whole bible says that every possible only by god and what is what is amazing what is not hard to believe for mankind is possible by god very simple but in order to understand it all of it you have to read the whole story not only two verses <clears throat> and this is why you know in the verse in like verse number 23 it says it's hard for a stupid one Uh, uh, who is a, like supposedly the rich one who is a stupid why is he so stupid he's rich he's successful you know he is rich but he did not invest the right investment he is just a person who love himself and that's stupid so it's impossible for that person to go to the heaven and the you know when the disciple they said okay well, why is that he's just rich you know they are wondering why what the problem but you will see that the bible have many verses to explain this verse where the money the, the messiah he says uh, uh, your your heart is where you're, you're a treasure your heart is you where you're, you're a treasure so if you're a treasure, obviously this person, he is so much money because he's collecting money, saving money. So his heart is with his, his treasure, which is money. Not, it's not with God. And obviously this person we speak about is as a, as a rich person. He is not a rich who is, let us say, using his richness to serve God. Like, you know, giving to the poor helping the needy etc obviously he is just a rich person which means there's nothing about him to describe except he is rich and because of that it's going to be almost impossible for him it's like making a camel go through a needle eye however still <clears throat> even this one he can go to heaven even though he could have all the sin he did. If he repent and he come back to God, still that camel can go through the eye of the needle. For that is impossible by man to make a camel go inside the needle. But for God it's not. All right. Uh, you know don't don't uh, don't try to read a verse by itself you know you have to you have to read the story and try to be part of the story uh did you see some videos of muslims against netflix about jesus claim it's mocking jesus for islam muslims they mock jesus more than anyone yeah this is the propaganda you know and as long they are, how come if you make a cartoon for Muhammad, they go out by millions? What about where we don't see the Muslims going by millions in the street? Hmm? Yeah, those videos are just, you know, propaganda. Make a cartoon about Muhammad, you will find, uh, uh, you know, uh, a guy, his name, uh, uh, Salman Rushdie, he made a book, just a book, you know, 60 pages about the satanic verses overnight all of iran the shia of iran they are striking the street by millions okay where are they all right <clears throat> the lord jesus kept saying to the disciple give your money to the poor and follow me you cannot keep your money at the same time follow jesus bam you are busted <laughs> and you are stupid uh, first first of all those are disciples of jesus and actually they did leave their money this is why you see in the same chapter in matthew 
19, they say, okay, this is how we are and we left everything behind us and we are following you. This is what Peter, he said in verse number 27. Busted. <laughs> and this is exactly what I was saying, that this rich man, this rich man, he don't want to serve God in any way. He's just rich. He want to keep the money in full. <clears throat> but he is not required to give everything. This rich man, right? You see, when we say give everything, like everything and follow me, doesn't mean really you throw everything. There's people who they are disciples, they follow Jesus, and there's people who live their houses, they have their chicken, they have their goat, they have to make living. You know, Jesus did not come with an idea of fantasy that's, you know, leave everything and follow me. Some people, they try to make it look like that. No. Right? Those who they are, his disciple, they have a mission to go. That's why they have to give up everything. And this is why Peter, in verse number 27, he says, Okay, Lord, we left everything and we are following you. Right. The Messiah even forgive a thief, a criminal. And he promised him heaven if he repent. So you see, it's impossible for this criminal to go to heaven. It's like, which one is harder, the rich or the criminal? Both are the same. Maybe the criminal even more harder. Yet because he repent, he was welcome to go to heaven. <clears throat> anyway i think we have a we have enough for today and i have i hope you guys you have a good time but uh why christians not attack except books like enoch and jesher well, you see, this is one of the good thing about us as a Christians. Any book we suspect it's false, we reject it. The book you mention is a stupid book. This is not the true Enoch. This is false. Like there is a warehouse where God he store things, and you know this is a stupid book. And not only that, it's obvious written wrong long after 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 you know. I mean, it's out. It it, it have details which is. Uh, it's like you know saying to you computer. We are in the time of Jesus. So those are fake books, and so why would not reject them? Christians have to be vigilant and not allow anyone to fabricate books. All right. The Iranian just show down, shut down airplane with 180 people. Stupid people. So they are the one who shut it down. They shut down an airplane in there in the in, in Iran. They thought maybe it's an American airplane. The stupid. What a stupid people. Maybe they shut it down by, you know, they thought it's an American airplane. And you know, the, 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 the always the disgusting thing in USA, that always the left, even now, like in the time of war, even now where they should stand behind the president, they love to divide and they love to attack the president, you know? And that will show like this uh, this woman Pelosi, well, Lucy, stupid woman. She uh, she said it clearly yesterday, and I think this is why the Iranian they thought about it. She said it clearly: we will put sanctions on the president. We will we will we will we will vote for a law to forbid him from engaging in war with Iran. So those people they see okay, the, those this guy he is not supported by anyone. So if we do whatever we do, 
he will not go for war you know this is one of the weakness of uh, democratic uh, uh, system if we can call it democratic uh, because those people they don't even believe in USA those uh, the democratic party they believe in they are nationalist you know they believe in one world there's no borders you know Well, we feel sorry for those people. What you can say, mostly, I think it's the Iranian shut it down. They thought it's an American airplane. Yeah, I mean, not only, not only. Look, look how how stupid those Democrats is. They go in public and they say that. What about you say that in private to the president? You go in public, you tell the enemy that we are against him. So now the enemy will hit. exactly communist you know there's nothing good can come from communist garbage in garbage out why did Benjamin Netanyahu say that Israel wasn't involved in which one in which one he throw you as under the bus you know Christopher I think you are mentally ill go and ask Netanyahu I don't want to see your text anymore secondly Israel, it doesn't matter what they do, people are against it. So why he want to be involved? So everybody want to blame him. They did not hit Israel yet. You are stupid. You are officially stupid. So when, you, when they hit him, then he will hit back. Before that day, if you attack, that will make you the aggressive people, person. So you are stupid. Netanyahu is being smart. He did not throw America under the bus. America is there without Netanyahu before Netanyahu. You are a donkey. Long before Netanyahu became a prime minister, America is in Iraq. What's wrong with you? It is Netanyahu now who throw America under the bus. Don't get married, man. I mean, I feel sorry literally for your wife if you are married. She will commit suicide. What's wrong with those people? They have to blame the Jews. They, they have mental illness. America go in war with Iran. He blamed the Jews. But why? The Iranian, they were killing American, 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 not Israeli. They never killed an Israeli, not even once. Not even once. Iran never shot a bullet at, at Israel. They shoot bullets at the American. donkey and why he you know he threw America under the bus why America is a small tiny country you know we can tell them you know what's wrong with you you have mental illness you hate you hate Israel you hate Israel some something happened to you make you hate Israel that much get out of here I don't want to see you again here I mean, it doesn't matter what you do, we, we blame the Jews. If somebody fought in the East, we blame the Jews. If somebody fought in the West, it's the Jews. Israel told the Trump to kill this guy, uh, you know, no. They are shooting at our base. Every few days they shoot a rocket from here to there, you know, playing their games, trying to make American leave. They are shooting at American base, not a Jewish base, not a not a synagogue, not an Israeli base. But you cannot, you know, you have look, this guy since he came, he's talking about Israel. They have mental illness. And you you get out too. We are done with you. You know, those who have a hate to, to Israel, I believe, you know, that, you know, there is, there is something, it's called jealousy. Jews are successful. It's true. They became very, uh, very rich, very wealthy. That's true. And that bring a lot of jealousy. You see, if the Jews were poor people, they have nothing they have no country 
they are homeless nobody will hate them that's the fact it's a jealousy they cannot do what the Jews do well good for them you know you are a donkey they are not this is the truth you are a donkey you know even if the Jews that like they claim that the Jews control the world okay good for them why you, what about you control the world what are you waiting for hmm? because you are a rat or a cat <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean they are jealous the Jews are successful they are smart they are intelligent they are able to build the country in, in a few years I mean if you look at their country in a few years became something amazing and by the way the Jews are still poor we have way more rich Christians why, why nobody complain about the Christian rich or Muslim rich the Jews only because the coward they cannot hit the big in numbers they hit the minority you know what I mean the Jews are a small minority tiny so we can hit them they can do nothing about it what about the oil all the oil you have all the gas you have Qatar you know Qatar is buying half of Europe nobody what's wrong with you they don't Qatar is not controlling no one yeah yeah keep you know be careful from those who they hate against anyone you know we don't want to hate Muslims we don't want to hate the Jews Hate is a trap is a stupid trap you see here I sit and debate anyone and we got them busted we spank them by the answer not by hate All right anyway I think we have enough for today I hope we have a good time and uh, we will see what will happen tomorrow in the news I will I will try to go live again and see what will happen but look like until now there's nothing really happening but maybe Trump is waiting to see more uh, more of what uh, what is next that's it it's over they will do more because until now look like they have nothing real you know those those uh, mullahs they have a fake attack and this is why there is if this if the news is true there is zero casualty it's mean this is a fake attack and the mullahs are a bunch of liars all right so i want to say thank you guys for being here and as you know here we don't tolerate uh, uh, stupidity it's not my fault if you if somebody is a stupid and he says stupid things then we get him busted you know we feed you from your words as simple as as that you speak smart you are smart you don't teach hate you are welcome you want to say stupid things well wait for the answer and this is what I'm here for you know hit my 99 fishes I wish it was one not even one <laughs> not only this it was embarrassing you know people walk by the beach and they ask me how many fish you got and they look they look at the at the you know container with me like how many fish like there's not even nothing man not even one fish to say hello very embarrassing oh so what are you fishing for like a, a lady she said to me shark I was saying to myself I don't even have a sardine <laughs> yeah but I think uh, uh, you know this is not about bad luck uh, you know the the guys who were before me when I came I, I saw a bunch of guys leaving they give up they said there's nothing because there was a strong current in the in the beach and this is usually when this has happened there is no uh, there's no fish so they said to me uh, don't waste your time but I said to myself I mean I'm here enjoy the scenery it's very beautiful very nice yeah so it's good to be all right uh, if you have no idea what's uh, what to answer you block people 
No, we don't block people. We 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 answered you and we got you busted. Get out of here. You are like a bug. And you know nothing. Um Do you like eat fish? For sure, I like to eat fish. Fish is very good. You know, fish is is kind of uh, uh, you know protein source which is doesn't have fat and it can be very tasty for sure. You know. Actually, I should uh, I should make a video and teach you guys how to cook a fish um, uh, by steaming. It tastes so good. No barbecue needed. Nothing, and uh, there's no smell. It doesn't make smell like you know if you fry it with oil or anything. Uh, um, usually, I make I make them with steam. It's really really tastes good. Very nice. Maybe I should do that. Maybe one day. You can cook sushi. No, I never. I, I don't even eat it. I don't like to eat raw uh, meat and raw fish. And it's, uh, I think it's kind of dangerous too, because when you eat raw food, you know, especially seafood can be, um, can cause serious sickness if the fish or the food you are eating is not fresh and clean. And right. So, I want to say thank you guys for everybody, and uh, I hope uh, I hope soon we will be live on air again by tomorrow, and let us see what the news will be, and I hope the news will be good, and we pray for peace in the world, but those who deserve, the one the Bible says, the one who live by the sword shall die by the sword. Which means if you are a criminal, you will get punished by the sword. As you live, you die. Alright? So don't live by the sword unless you want to die by the sword. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And the government of uh, the mullahs are a bunch of cowards. See you.